Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing The Ordinary 100% Hemi Squalene. So I actually bought this by mistake. My boyfriend is obsessed with the regular uh, squalene from The Ordinary. He uses it all the time on his face and he really, really likes it. So I was in London, supposed to uh, repurchase a bottle of that. And I accidentally picked up that without even realising. And I didn't even realise the difference in price. So this is basically um, a lighter version than their original squalene formula, which is still available. But this is like less than three pounds. I can't believe how, I can't believe they can afford to put it in the bottle and sell it and pay for the staff that work in the store and the rent for the store and be able to sell a product for this price it's absolutely bonkers. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of using the squalene. I do like it. It's in the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So I do really like it um, as a skincare ingredient when it's blended with other products, but it's not something that I personally use on my own. But Christian, he loves it. And it's just, if I compare the original squalene to like an oil, for instance, it does kind of have that nourishment for the skin, but it's just a little bit lighter. And this one is even lighter. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a water, super lightweight. And you know that I love products like that because I love the marine hyaluronics and the uh, amino acids plus B5. If you haven't seen the amino acids review, which I did recently, I will link that up above for you. Um, so this has that lightweight watery texture, but it's kind of like an oil. It's almost like, I would say like a dry oil. That's not personally the sort of thing that I like on my skin because it doesn't feel silky enough, but it's incredibly lightweight. So I think that if you combine this with hyaluronic acid, I do think that you need that humectant um, hydration underneath that. I don't think this is going to give you that on its own. I think that this is going to be nourishing and moisturising, but it's not going to give you enough hydration. So if you start off with some hyaluronic acid underneath, and then you put this on top, and this will nourish the skin. It's also an antioxidant squalene, which I didn't realise at first. And this is a plant-based version, which is really, really good. That will give you, um, combined with the hyaluronic acid, like really lightweight um, skincare nourishing ingredients combined. I think that it's really good. But even though I don't use it on my skin, I tried it on my hair because they recommend that you can use this on your hair. And I found this fascinating because I usually, my hair's a total mess today, just ignore it, but I usually um, wash my hair and then I don't put any conditioner on it because it goes flat. Um, I always have to blow dry my hair because it's a bit wavy and it just looks like this, like nothing. So I usually blow dry it and then style it um, without any conditioner and it does sometimes get a little bit dry. So I tried this on and I was thinking that it might make my um, hair oily. I've tried putting oil in my hair before and um, it just didn't work, it just made my hair oily. And then you've got things like the Moroccan oil product, the original one. They, those types of things, they put a lot of silicon in them. So obviously this is just the pure squalene without any uh, additives. So it makes my hair super moisturized, like it's had conditioner in it. So I, the first time I tried it, I tried it on dry hair and it just kind of like added a bit of silkiness to it took a little bit of the fluffiness away, but I felt that it kind of, that disappeared and my hair went a bit fluffy again after like 10 minutes and I added some more and it just kind of disappeared into my hair again and went back to how it was before. But when you use it on wet hair, that's when you get this really nice silkiness to it. It's easier to comb through. But what's fascinating is that I still have volume in my hair, like it doesn't make my hair go flat. So I think that that's really interesting, that it nourishes the hair, makes it easier to comb through, but it doesn't make it go flat and lank in the way that it might be, it might do if you put like a regular like hair oil or a serum or a cream in um, to help nourish the hair. So that's really interesting. And then when you blow dry it, it's, the hair's almost got like a bit of grip to it. Like 
I didn't want something that was going to make my hair too silky and too soft that when you put a brush through it, it just, it's just too soft and then it just, and too silky and it goes a bit like flat. Um, this doesn't do that at all. It still gives the hair like a bit of grip and you can get a bit of volume in it when you style it. So then when you go in, like I just, if you've got longer hair and you would just style it and leave it. Um, whereas me, I then go in because mine's shorter and put like a little bit of like styling cream in it to give it like its shape and hold it into place. And it doesn't go, yeah, it doesn't go flat at all. So I think that it's a really unique product that I, I think that is a good lighter weight option than the regular squalene if you're using it on your skin. But it is an amazing product for your hair. I think that it's unlike anything else and I think that you should definitely try it, no matter what your hair type is, if you've got short hair or long hair, um, whether you use conditioner or you don't, I think that you should definitely try that. And I think that this is where it's definitely a winning product. It's, I can't believe the price, it's so, amazing that it's so affordable it's absolutely crazy and I think that yeah it's a really really interesting product that you should try for your hair um, if you've already tried it let me know if you've got any questions um, regarding this and the comparison to the regular squalene or if you've tried any of the other products or anything like that then you can hit me up in the comments below as always thanks for watching my videos don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do and I would love it even more if you hit the notification button or the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.